So you're thinking about getting ducks. Here's a few things you should know before you get ducks. Ducks can be really messy. You're gonna need a lot of coop space, about four square feet per duck. We have 110 square feet, which works out really well for our 19 ducks. Our ducks do share their space with the chickens as well, but it works out pretty good because the chickens perch up high at night and ducks always um, nest down into the bedding. So for bedding, we use pine shave chips, which works really well. You can also use straw. You're gonna want something soft and dry. They do like to nest down in it. That's where they lay their eggs. So it is really important to have a soft material. They're really messy. They're constantly in water and we don't put water in the coop for that reason because they will make a mess of it and then it's impossible to keep the bedding dry in the winter which is super, super important. Ducks need a nesting area which they will kind of make their own spot in your coop. We have one right here. This little area is nice because it's underneath where the chickens are but it is protected. So any heat can transfer from the ducks up to the chickens. Oh. This ends up becoming a nice nesting area for them. They usually go to the corners of the barn and right in here is where they usually lay their eggs. We did install this door a couple weeks ago because it was impossible to get in there because um, we have like a perch up here for the chickens and I didn't want to keep crawling under there to get the eggs. So anyways, we installed this so you do need a way to gather the eggs when they do start laying and this has worked out really well for us. Another thing is heat source. So for ducks, you don't need to worry about that. You just need to give them a clean, dry shelter. Ducks naturally acclimate to the weather and it doesn't seem to bother them at all. They'll go out in the snow. They're currently down at our pond, which is partially frozen and they're swimming in a non-frozen patch. So the cold doesn't really bother them. You don't really need to worry about a heat source. Again, just a clean, dry area for when it's really windy and stuff. They'll probably still go outside. I still do go outside when it's really cold and windy. Predator prevention for ducks is very similar to what you would do for chickens. Um, we did have a problem with a mink last year that took out basically our entire flock of ducks, except for Lucky. So what we did this year to prevent that from happening is we went outside and we dug down two feet and put down wire around the entire um, outside of the chicken coop. And then on the inside, we put wire down plus some pallets. So if it gets through the wire, then it has to get through the wood pallets. We also built a permanent outside run that's fully fenced in to hopefully deter any raccoons or mink, which have been the only issues we've ever had is with those two types of animals. Um, so I would suggest, you know, doing some sort of wire around and dig down because those animals will dig through. During the day, we've never had an issue with predators with them being out. We do have a rooster and a couple male ducks, which I do think helps because it does alert the animals if there is a hawk or something. And like I said, we've never had a problem with that because we have the roosters and the male ducks. Another thing you need to decide is if you're gonna have them in a, like a duck run or if you're gonna have them free range. I suggest free ranging, they're happier that way. They're really good at foraging, so they like to free range, they like to run out and be around. We have the pond, so it gives them the opportunity to go get as much water as they want whenever they want. That's one of the reasons we free range them, which I suggest you do as long as you're not in city limit. They are extremely social animals, so you can't just have one duck. You need at least two or three because otherwise um, they don't do as well. So I highly suggest free ranging and getting a couple of them. So there's many different types of ducks you can get. You can choose from meat ducks, dual purpose ducks, which is meat and egg layers, and then also egg layers. What we have here is Cayugas, Blue Swedish, Mallards, Gold Star, and Pekins. Duck eggs are really great because they're double the nutrition of chicken eggs. They're also quite a bit larger, so you don't need to use as many. And if you're selling them, they tend to sell for double the price as what a chicken egg does because there's not as many people out there selling duck eggs. But they're way more beneficial for you. Duck feed is extremely important. It has niacin in it, which is a B vitamin, and ducks do need that, especially during the growth development stage, 
because it helps with leg development. Without it, they'll end up with crooked and weak legs. So do make sure that the duck feed you choose has that niacin in it or you add in niacin in another form. We haven't yet, but we do plan on incubating eggs and creating our, another flock from our existing ducks that we do have. The eggs take 28 days till they hatch. And then after they hatch, they take about one month before they become waterproof. So you don't want to put them in water until after their first month. Ducks can live 10 to 20 years, which is pretty incredible. Never seems long enough though, because once you have ducks, they're an absolute fun animal to have. I love watching them more than any of our other animals just because of the antics that they do. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want to check out more content, check out this video.